Okay, so this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of a splatter or a, I don't know what you call it, dispersion uh, effect. This is a combination between um, actual photos of water and changing the color tones and then uh, some splatter brushes because the original photo looks like this. Okay, so if you notice, and I'll just kind of break it down a little bit more, these are all water layers. Uh, with types of certain types of overlays and, and stuff like that. So you can kind of see all of the water that I put on here and, and coming to uh, some of the splatter brush, brushes as well. And so I'm going to show you how to break I'm going to show you how to break break down the image. Now I'm not going to go in a huge amount of depth with it because you know you just need to know how to, to do the basics. So, here we go. We don't need that layer. We do need that layer. So, start a new layer. Go down here. New that that's the new layer button. Now go into your brushes here, and I have tons of splatter brushes. So you know I have this one selected. That'll do. Opacity at a hundred, and just get it nice and solid there. And I want to grab maybe this section, right? So now with the magic wand tool and the tolerance at 20, I'm going to select it. Now this is selecting everything around the splatter, not in the splatter. So you need to go to select inverse. Now everything is selected in here, which is your splatter. Here's the trick now. Uh, just hide that layer and go on to the layer with this image, okay? Press uh, command C or control C that's copy and then you um, press uh, control V or command V that's going to be paste so if you notice it took that section what we're also going to do here is um, you can either that's this is really one way to do it so there you have that region and then you can just start doing it on all these other regions all right um, what I did for this, just because there's a certain amount where this background is showing, I, uh, let's go back up here in our history and I'll show you. So, this layer gets copied, okay, and before I delete this, um, or I'm sorry, before I remove these marquees, um, I'll just, I'll just delete it, you see, and then press control V, and now... Now you can see it's it's more consistent because I have the background active here. This actually might just be a solid color, but you could even just uh, grab a region from this background like this, copy this, paste it, move it over to the side here, move it down on the layer here, and it'll be more consistent. See? So that's basically what I did for the certain region of the head and. Uh, got some high quality photos of water to uh, to for the end result here to get this it takes time and, you know you just need some patience and just experiment with the uh, uh, you know these layer uh, blending modes here I think a lot I used a lot of uh, screen and lighten and um, maybe some overlays but just be patient this this took me a while to do to get the effect right so hopefully this uh, gives you a good foundation to get started if you have any questions or I, maybe i missed something out you know leave a comment and i'll try to get back to you the best that i can